Okay, everybody, this is FHRC Burning Radio Controlling Cars, and today uh, I'm just going to show you uh, some batteries. Uh, this might not interest anybody, but you know, just would like to share you guys what I actually do with the batteries. Like, what kind of batteries do I run my RCs with? So, I'm actually going to uh, go work my way through here. And let's start off with some nickel metal hydride batteries. Uh, we got a, a Traxxas 1200 milliamp hour power cell, six cell. This is for my Mini E Revo. I also got another one. Now, my Mini E Revo is not a brushless version, it's a brushed version. So I only have the parallel connector, the parallel harness for longer runtime, not. Twice the top speed, so that's not really something to write home about. But you know, and it does get the job done. Uh, speaking of nickel metal hydride, here's another Traxxas nickel metal hydride. This one's a little bit shows some wear and tear, but it's a power cell, 8.4 volt, uh, seven cell nickel metal hydride. Uh, this one's a pretty good, pretty good battery to be honest with you. Battery pack. You would see these in a lot of Traxxas Raider runs, like from like for example the Slash, Stampede. Well, the Stampede has a hump pack. Uh, the Rustler Band and the Stampede are usually hump pack, not long ones. They're us you you would usually see this on a Slash two wheel drive Slash four x four, and many other Traxxas offerings that doesn't require the hump pack so that's enough for that and then this one over here is a horizon hobby product this is a dynamite speed pack 3300 milliamp hour so this one is 3000 so this one's a little bit has a little bit less uh, runtime compared to this uh, but you know 3300 doesn't really make a big difference to me uh, so this is a dynamite, uh, basically Horizon Hobby product, but it uh, has an EC3 connector. So I actually got an adapter from EC3 to Traxxas. So there you go, because I mainly run Traxxas. But the this con this connector will be compatible with my cousin's ECX Torment. So now we got that on the side. All nickel. That's pretty much all my nickel metal hydrides. Now over here are all my lipos. And there's actually two lipos that I actually got used and two that I actually bought new. Let me go start off with the used one. This over here is the um, uh, previous owner actually, I don't know what she did to it, but uh, uh, this thing has been seen better days as far as the stickers is concerned. But I know it's a Venom because on this side it says Venom group uh, I know you can't see that but it says venom on it can you see that it's it's a stupid blur there you go it says venomgroup.com so I know this is a venom products and this is a uh, what do you call this this is a uh, two cell lipo yeah it's a two cell lipo yeah I can tell by the connector that's a two cell so that's nothing to write home about. That's this is actually my second second Venom I ever owned. The first one being a small small pack that's about the size of this. Put it on my slash and yeah, it wasn't advisable. It that thing puffed up the shreds. So uh, here it's stupid blur. Come on, there you go. Here is a another used lipo battery, but at least this one's not bulging or anything like that, but it's a another power cell, but this is a 25C 7.4 volts 7600 milliamp hour lipo uh, and this is actually the most most long this is the long lasting battery I have in my battery collection I guess this is the long this is the long lasting lipo this is the long lasting nickel metal hydride so that's all I got and so 7600 milliamp hours so this is gonna give me like almost an hour of driving 
and uh, I don't my I don't have a charger that I don't have a traction charger that will just connect the ID plug to the charger itself. But uh, I have. Oops. I don't know if it's in here because I was in the middle of working on my other RC stuff. But I do have a connector. It tracks as an adapter that will go from to the ID to to basically to one of these. You, you guys might know what I'm talking about. If you guys are into Traxxas and know anything about Traxxas batteries, you would know what I'm talking about. So, but basically, I I do have a plug. I just don't know where I put it, but I do have a plug that goes from the ID connector to do something like this. So it will be compatible with my with my with my chargers. So that's pretty much it for the this lipo battery. Nothing really right home about. Here's another two cell lipo. This is my hard case. This is the one I bought on Amazon for like 20, 25 bucks, I believe. It's cheap. And some people might think that cheap is sometimes bad, but especially with lipo batteries, but not in this case, actually. This is actually went pretty well. Uh, I, I don't feel any bulge or anything like that on the outside, but in you know, a hard case, it's, it works fine. I had uh, good luck with this, actually. So 5,000 milliamp hour, 50C LiPo, uh, 2S, 7.4 volt. So nothing to write home about, but it does get the job done for for what it is. And finally, we got another LiPo battery that I bought on Amazon. I believe this is about the same price, 25 bucks, uh, 20, 25 bucks, almost $30. Uh, this is a 3000 milliamp 30C 3S 11.1 volt lithium battery, lithium polymer battery. And this one is a soft pack. It's not a hard case or anything like that. So, but I had this since, 2019 I had actually I actually had these batteries since 2019 so these things have been working out pretty well for me so they're doing a great job for for the price you do get plenty for for your money so that's good so that is all my stacks of batteries I don't have a lot but I don't really need a lot just to get my RCs running. And I got like, uh, I got eight hobby grade RCs in my collection. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight. This would actually go on my mini E Revo though. So, because the mini E Revo, just like the real, Tracks the Revo Summit. Yeah, yeah, it tracks it just like the real tracks, the big tracks is E Revo and Summit. The mini E Revo, mini Summit, mini Slash can take two of these batteries inside the, inside the car. So, yeah, that's my stack of batteries. I know not a lot of people are interested in somebody talking about batteries, but you know. Just want to show you, show you guys what's behind the scenes of my RC work. So I hope you guys enjoyed.